today I am sharing a beautiful dessert table scape for Valentine's Day or any other day. Um, it is good for anyone but all the recipes are vegan. I hope you enjoy. These carrot balls are not only yummy but they are also a nice guilt-free dessert. For this recipe you will need grated carrot, I grated two small carrots, walnut and almonds, a quarter cup of each. You will also need some raisins, uh, salt, ground cinnamon, ground ginger and ground nutmeg. Uh, and what you want to do is start by blending your nuts as you can see mine is all blended there make sure that it still has some chunks to it because you want it to have texture and then you add the carrot and the other ingredients and then you blend it until you're satisfied with the texture this is how I wanted mine to look I wanted it to have some crunch to it and then all you have to do from here is just roll them up in a ball and you uh, cover them with a uh, uh, desiccated coconut. For our second recipe we are going to make some truffles and I made one truffle mix for both of these truffles so one is covered with coconut and the other one is covered with roasted nuts so for these we're going to need some nuts uh, some maple syrup some chocolate and uh, coffee uh, coconut milk salt and vanilla extract Warm up half a cup of coconut milk and add a tablespoon of coffee, half a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Mix in the chocolate and melt it down and this is the consistency you should get. Mix or put this in the fridge and for about half an hour and let it solidify. Roll it into balls and then you roll it over your roasted nuts and your desiccated coconut. I was trying to create a cozy evening for two under the blanket, playing games, listening to music. So I cleared off my coffee table. I added some lanterns for a nice, beautiful, warm glow. So we're trying to make this as cozy and inviting and warm and romantic as possible. <laughs> and then I added two candles, nice tall candles, love these candles. And then to create a riser, I used candle holders and I placed some of my bowls on top of that just to give dimension to the table. I added two plates, napkins and some dessert cutleries and some tea light holders, some candle tea light holders and uh, this is just so that we can have some nice beautiful extra light on the table and then i added some flowers on the table absolutely love these flowers nice and pink just to give it a little bit of color and i just really like really nice artificial flowers they are my thing I found these games at Aldi. If you live in England, found these games at Aldi. They are so interesting games to play. I added them on the table as well, just to keep some interest in the evening. And this is what the table looks like, well, without the food on it yet, but I absolutely love it. It's just so beautiful. Um, it works really well on my coffee table because it's nice and big, but if you have a smaller coffee table, I'm sure you can use the same ideas and do the same thing to your table. Absolutely love it. So this is the finished table with the food on it. The table turned out so well. The dessert at the back is chia pudding, which is chia seeds soaked overnight with, um, with maple syrup and vanilla extract. And then I added some yogurt, some blueberries and some chopped nuts. I love this tablescape. It just looks really beautiful. It will work for Valentine's Day just as well as it will work if you are entertaining friends. If your table is not big enough, I'm sure you can scale this down. Like I said, all these desserts are vegan, but they will just be as good for people who are not. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite dessert was. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all so, so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.